This morning for Nebraska Science Fest, we're going to build an anemometer. Now you can do this at home. It is a tool to measure wind speed and all you need are a few simple items. First, you need about five little paper cups, one thumbtack, a pair of scissors, or a hole punch if you happen to have one at home, two straws, just normal straws, and then a pencil. And it's very important that you make sure your pencil has a rubber eraser at the top. So we're gonna start off with our cups and we'll do these all at the same time so they're pretty efficient. You wanna make two holes where the straws will go in. I'm gonna use all of my cups stacked together and my little thumbtack to make sure the holes are even on each cup. Make sure you have a parent's help or at least supervision. We're going to use our scissors to make those holes big enough for our straws to go through. And just two holes like this. And we're gonna do that for each of our four cups. And once we've created all our holes, remember two on each side, for our four cups, we're going to take our fifth cup, this will be the centerpiece, and you're going to create four holes, just straight apart so the straws will go through. You're gonna take your straw, don't have to bend it, and we're going to weave your straw through those original four cups we made, and there are two holes, and the tension should be enough to hold that cup onto that straw. Now, take this straw with the cup already on it, and push that through straight across, and then add your next cup. You wanna make sure that they're facing the opposite direction and weave that through the other two holes we created. Should be facing the opposite way now. And you'll do the same thing with the final two cups and your final straw. Push it through your final two holes in the main center cup. Again, make sure your cups are all facing the same way if you rotate it. All right, now the last part We'll create a hole in the very bottom of the center cup, right in the center. Make it a little bit bigger so that your pencil can go through. Now the last part, your handy dandy thumbtack. Again, with a parent's help, you're going to take your thumbtack, push it through the two straws and into the center of your eraser. Make sure it's loose enough that it can spin. And when you get out into the wind, you should notice the cups start to spin. And there's your very easy to make at home anemometer.